Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I'm Steven Korka. Juan Frotch. And we are here to talk about Netflix's The Punisher. Netflix is The Punisher. Starring John Barenthal, uh, most notably known as Shane from The Walking Dead. Um, and also Daredevil Season 2 when Punisher made the first appearance. This is not the first time we've seen The Punisher. First time we saw Punisher was Dolph Lundgren in his movie back in the early yeah. 90s. Which that was, it actually wasn't a bad movie. It was alright. It was alright. It wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. And then Punisher came out again with John Travolta as the villain. I never even saw it, but I heard it was horrible. Yeah. And then there was Punisher Warzone, which was I heard great. was a better movie. It was great. I never saw that one. Yeah, that was good. And then you had this one. Of course, the Punisher character is Frank Castle. His family was killed by the mafia, and he wanted to go and, you know, re uh, give his family revenge and kill all the bad guys. He doesn't kill good guys. He only kills bad guys. P character was extremely popular in comics in the 90s. He had Punisher, he had Punisher War Journal, and he had Punisher War Zone. Uh, three books going at the yeah. same time. Um, very popular character. And then he died off, and then Garth Ennis, famous writer of Preacher, um, and a couple other books, I think. Brought him back in Punisher Max. Brought him back in Punisher Max, which was popular for a while, <laughs> and then died out, and, uh, and now here we are with the Punisher. This is only really so much you could do with a character. There is only so much you can do with the characters. So, um, listen, uh, it, it, I'm going to say this. I went into this show thinking it was going to be crazy action-packed, crazy violent, crazy filled with, you know, guns and, and action scenes and all this crazy stuff, just based on what I saw in Daredevil and then what I saw with that trailer. I thought the music was going to be, like, metal. I thought, you know, where, where Luke Cage had, like, you know, that hip-hop vibe and very, like, old-school R&B meets hip-hop music throughout. And, you know, and that was one of the good things about the show. A lot of things, people said, oh, the music's great. It fits the tone of the show. I thought the music for this movie was going to be straight-up fucking Metallica-style metal throughout. Um, instead, it was, it, you know, it, we didn't get that. It was very Johnny Cash. It was very depressing. And the show was very depressing as well, I thought, as a whole. Um... Overall, if I got to give it a thumbs up or down, I'm going to say thumbs down. Uh, I know you think I'm crazy. So, do you want to hear from me or do you want to talk? No, you go ahead. I thought it, I, I think for it's probably to me was the best that Marvel has done. The best Marvel ever. No, on on Netflix. Uh, on, on the best Marvel show on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. Here's my problem with Punisher, ladies and gentlemen. First of all. Let me say what I liked about it first, because I don't want to sound like a negative Nancy. For John Barenthal, amazing. Amazing, hands down. Deserves an Emmy. Uh, great, great character. I loved Micro. He was kind of a whiny bitch sometimes, but overall I liked him. Um, the 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 Homeland agent. Um, what was Medina. Medina? No, Dina. Wasn't it Dina? Medina? I don't know. Whatever her name was, no. she was great, and she was hot also. Um... The guy that played uh, what, what's his name? The bad guy, Jigsaw. Yeah. What's Billy Russo. Billy Russo. I think when, I keep wanting to say Peter Russo from mm -hmm. uh, from uh, House of Cards. Billy Russo, what a slimy douchebag! I he was fantastic. Him. I fucking couldn't great. stand him. And let me let me tell you, like like Juan spoiled it to me that that Billy Russo was Jigsaw. I didn't know that. Um, and and watching the show, I was like. Jigsaw, but Jigsaw's got his face is all fucked up in the comic. Well, if you watch the show, Billy Russo's face gets fucked yeah, up. Like, okay, like that nasty. scream was horrible. Like like yeah. like like nasty style, um, and which was funny because they kept they kept re referencing his pretty face throughout the right, show, right throughout the show, pretty yeah. boy, and all that stuff like that. Yep. And and he just he's ugly as fuck now. We can assume he we left the show in bandages. Um, what else did I like about the show? The van was great. Uh, the, the van looked fuck. I want a Punisher yeah, van. the van was I fantastic. I really want a Punisher van. I know I'm, the, the fact I'm pointing out the van is a big deal, but hey, Marvel series 
two trading cards. The Punisher van was featured. The van was pretty huge. The van, the van, the van was a big deal. Um, what else? What else did I like about it? When the action did happen, the action was great. Um, it was super. I, I like the fact that that they didn't censor the violence for the most part. Like headshots, you saw. Headshots. The violence was violence was very it, 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 it reminded, visceral. It reminded me of like very much you know like RoboCop in the eighties. Yeah, it was like, very visceral. Or man. Terminator was... or or an eighties Schwarzenegger movie like or 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 like do you remember in Beverly Hills Cop at the very end where 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 Axel Foley shoots the villain straight dead in the head and he's just dead like that. But I don't remember brain, that. No, his brains go everywhere. Yeah. Like like very graphic like that. Like the like the graphic violence of it and the gun violence was very reminiscent of the eighties action. R movies to me, um, whether, whether it be Commando, which is a shitty fucking movie, I can't fucking stand that movie, uh, or you know Total Recall, you know the Terminator movies. Uh, but uh, from from that, another thing I liked about the movie, which I wasn't expecting, was I really thought this was going to be the Punisher against against the the, the villains, it, as in like the mafia, <laughs> crime, yeah. all that other stuff. Instead, like this was a very anti-government show. Like it really showed a really like dark side of the government, and it was really Punisher no. against <clears throat> the government for the majority of it, with the exception of whatever that chick's name is uh, from Homeland. Yeah, uh, and, I, and I don't mean the TV show Homeland Security is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I mean, and then I really, I I really enjoyed the. The fact that they tackled PTSD, like hardcore, like like they really showed you a side of, of, of soldiers and their mental state post war when they come home, and they, they so it it was, it was very focused on 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 the, the morale and the and the lifestyle and the men and the mental state of Marines, post combat what they go through and and really also showed a dark side of war. I mean war. There's nothing bright about war anyways, but the fact that, that it got as dark as it did and even like, you know, like the, the whole conspiracy that they were talking about throughout the whole show was was stuffing soldier corpses with heroin, you know, like I know this is fiction, but but it's a very plausible story that could easily be done, you know, uh, in real life. And, you know, and, and you see a spike in the opioid crisis in the last 10 years, too. I mean, let's not lie. Afghanistan is 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 number one importer of of opium. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of conspiracy theories that could just develop in 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 real real society, let alone this show, based on uh, the messages that they put put forth. Uh, that's what I liked about the show. What'd you like? Don't say everything. Of course, you loved it, but no, it, like? basically everything that you mentioned are the things that I liked. That's all you got to say, huh? I'm not, I'm gonna repeat it. I like I liked um, like I say I think John Bernthal he deserves uh an Emmy. I think his rage like the way he portrayed the rage was awesome. Even his little grunts, his gorilla screams, his Rah! like in the middle of fights, he was amazing. Um, I thought his relationship with Micro was really interesting. I loved the guy that played Billy Russo. I did not like uh, Medina. I thought her character was just unnecessary. Um, so I disagree with you there. Um, I like the PTSD stuff. It was like, you know, nothing like that has been done since maybe like Jacob's Ladder, um, you know, addressing like veterans and, and, you know, veteran affairs. And the character of Curtis was exceptional, too. He was awesome. Curtis was great. Yeah, yeah he was really, really great. Um, you know who else was great was, was, was the kid, the crazy kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really, really good. So yeah. um, I... I, I liked the kid actually. Um, I thought it was great because I forget his name. yeah, him and the Punisher were basically the same guy, and just seeing Punisher how far gone he is in his little crusade, you know, you always believe that you're in the right if you're gonna do what the Punisher or that kid does, like, you know. So I thought that was great, and I thought the show handled the violence really, really well. Like it never glamour. It, it, it the violence wasn't glamorized, like war wasn't glamorized. It was very um. There were consequences, and it was very ugly and very brutal. So I think they handled it all well. I don't think any of the violence was gratuitous at all. And um, I thought as a whole, it could have cut a few hours. And by few, I mean like five hours yes. probably needed to get cut from the show because at times it was – and I don't think this is the Punisher's fault. This happens in every single Marvel show, right, where – Except Defenders. Th yeah, because Defenders was eight episodes. 
Yeah. Right. All these shows they they're pushing for these thirteen. You know, if all the if all the if Netflix is making these TV, wait, wait, are, are you done talking about the things you loved? Oh yeah, yeah. Are, are we are we on to the things you don't like? Now? No, yeah. So those are the things I loved. Well, Same. No, right. So the things you don't like. Well, so the the length of this you, show. You didn't like the girl character from Homeland. So I didn't like the girl character from Homeland. I thought I think that the length of these shows. I don't understand if if Netflix is this isn't like network TV, right? We're not getting an episode of week. Netflix is releasing all the episodes at once, so it's almost like a giant movie, right? Yeah. Like, so why do you have to stick to the 13 episode structure? You don't. You There's no point. Don't. You so don't. why don't you just make it so the the show flows? I mean, I believe this story could have been told in probably half the time, um, and it would have been, it would have been better for it. The story would have been more. It would have been better for for a shorter viewing time. I mean, they took the 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 kid that ended up blowing himself up in the cooler. They could have cut that whole story. Yeah, that, I, I, I like the story. No, no, right, right. But it, there were other ways to outcastle that he was alive. Yeah, yeah. There are other ways that that Russo that Castle and, could have seen that Russo was the traitor. And, and there's other ways that. that Castle himself could have that they could have proven the point, which is what I'm what I think they were trying to do. That while we hated that kid, we root for the Punisher, but they're the same person. So I think there's other ways that they could have showed that they didn't need a six hour like side story. Yeah. About this kid. It was and I felt that would have made it for a better show. And I think this is true for all the shows. Right. On on Netflix. Um a lot of them could just you could even make like Luke Luke Cage. There could be an argument said that Luke Cage was could have just been two shows, two seasons. Right? Up till when Cottonmouth dies and then the next season with Diamondback. Absolutely. Right? Like it Hands feels down. it's so it, like in its entirety I think it makes for a weaker season. Right? Like Iron Fist they could have easily cut seventy five percent of that show. You know, um, and it, it's true for all of them. And, I, and as much as people love Jessica Jones, you know, it it dragged on. It, it dragged on. Like, I didn't even finish it. Right. So I think with Punisher, Punisher fell victim to this by no fault of its own. So I thought that was horrible. Um, I hated Karen. I hate Karen. I hate her as a character. I hate her in Daredevil. I hate her here. I hate her weird little relationship with the Punisher. It's unnecessary. I, I, I hate. They all, need to get rid of it. I hate all the crossover characters. I hate her. I hate. Cla I'm so glad Claire didn't show up. Oh, thank God. If Claire showed up, I was gonna be like, oh, oh God, she's yeah. been in every single series up until now. Yeah. I I don't like Karen. I don't like Claire. I get it. Marvel and Net wants to crisscross their characters and let right. us know it's all connected, but it's just it, it's not necessary here. Yeah, Karen. Yeah. Karen was just she's. I feel, she feels so pushed. She feels pushed. I. I just. I'm. Not, I wasn't. Plus, let's be real about something. How does Karen go from a chick that works at some big bad corporation to being a paralegal for some? Right. Um, almost gets murdered. Almost gets murdered. And now she's becomes like, a paralegal. And, now she's, and now like she's a reporter at a notch. reputable newspaper. And not only is she a reporter, like a top notch reporter, but she, a top notch, and she gets a double wide office to herself. Yeah. yeah. Why? Because she was friends with Ben Urich? I don't know, man. Like, but come on. That, that whole character, I'm hoping that what we're going to see in Daredevil Season 3 Karen is the introduction of uh, Bullseye. Bullseye. Just so he can yeah. finally just fucking kill her. And, and that, it was kill awful. Claire, too. Kill both those bitches. Uh, Claire needs to go, too. She's just, it's annoying. It's annoying. But uh, to the show itself, I thought Karen was a horrible misstep. Like, it was just awful. But I hated it. She, but if Marvel wanted to combine and bring in elements from other shows into it, she was necessary, as stupid as it was. It, it doesn't need, you know what, they don't need to be... It was her or Claire. They don't need to introduce them so early on. I agree. Like, Punisher could have, and, and granted, th this isn't Punisher's introduction. His introduction was in Daredevil Season 2. Yeah. But it's one of those things, like, you know, which was great. The A line that I loved about Amazing Spider-Man is when Tony Stark says, like, look, like, this isn't Avengers-level bullshit. This is just regular bullshit that you guys can handle. Meaning that not everyone has to involve, be involved in everything, right? Punisher could have his own thing without having anyone come in. Yeah. You know? So, I, I, I don't know. I, I was just... That's what I hated about the show, but that's it. That's all you hated about the show? Yeah. All right. Here's what I really hated about the show. And this is why I give it more of a thumbs down than a thumbs up. If I have to, if I have to pick... One or the other. Like, there's no middle ground, no gray. Area. It's either thumbs up, thumbs down. I give it a thumbs down for this reason. With the level of violence we saw in this movie, the level of murder, the level of blood, the level of all that shit like that, they couldn't say fuck. And 
when that chick was fucking Russo, she, we got we to gotta censor her fucking tits. So, let me get this straight. It's okay to show, show someone's face getting bashed in and their eyes being gouged out and stabbed multiple times in the chest. But it's not okay to see a girl having sex with a guy in a realistic manner. It's not okay to have someone say, fuck. Like, that type of censorship, I just don't understand. I don't understand how... <coughs> Maybe they thought that was unnecessary. What do you mean it's unnecessary? You're going to tell me that this isn't a show that, that deserved the word fuck in the dialogue? I mean, maybe... maybe I. You know what? I, I don't see Frank Castle as someone who says fuck. Anybody. There, no. were, I, I, there were a gazillion characters that would have said fuck. I mean, it, let's be real about this. Come on, man. I don't know, man. I, really, I didn't even notice... So that's how unimportant it was. I'll give it, it to you me. like this. All right, we saw Logan, and Logan, fuck, Professor X said fuck. You know, they they said it in a tasteful manner that was not overused to be to be uh, you know sensationalized. Like, oh my god, Wolverine's saying fuck. Like it was like it, it made sense in what they said for for a show with this much violence. And let's be real, man. Like jar jarheads, man. They fucking they curse, man. They, especially you know. The, the, like the ones that we saw in this show, man. The fact that none of them, Curtis, the crazy fucking suicide bomber, Castle, Micro, Micro, Russo, not the the, the fucking um, CIA director that got brutalized. Like mm. the fact that none of them, the, the the worst they say is shit and bitch. You know, an asshole. I didn't even notice. Well, I noticed because it's just... It's, it's, you love that word, though. That's like, you have the thing. You know what? The, the, it, it's an effective word, and at the same time, like, it it it, the, it, it... it was blatantly omitted, you know? It's not like the writers oh, just forgot to put it in. I don't think it was blatantly omitted because oh, I didn't notice. You, you, you're going to tell me that, that, that Netflix and Disney didn't say, listen, guys, no fuck. You cannot say fuck. Specifically, that one curse word. No, that's that's insane. The that's fact a- that it wasn't in the dialogue at least once. Not one person said the word once. I, I All those motherfuckers. Come on, dude. I'm sorry they didn't say your word. I, dude, fuck you right now. That's like a, hard. That's a terrible reason not to like the show. That's that's the first reason. That's right? a terrible reason. No, that's a no because you want to know why? Is it? I like uh, when a show is based in reality and gives me a sense of realism. That's when it earns my respect. But this show, this show, the fact that nobody said fuck, right there, just tells tells me that 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 that, that it was censored and it's not it's not being real. It's it it's not a realistic approach. That's insane. It's not a realistic approach to the show. You you can't sit there and blow people's brains out and do all this other stuff and not say fuck. Okay. Why not? Not want it because it's, it's it's not real, dude. It's fuck you. All right. I mean, we're we're talking about people that fly and shit, man. Nobody flied, flies. In no, but you know show. what I'm saying. We're talking about like this show's probably one of the most realistic of the bunch, you know, because this, that that shit could really happen, you know. May I? I don't you know. know. Dude, not, there's honestly, there's not a guy in a red suit that can see things because he's got super senses. There's not a guy with chi. There's not a guy with imp- impenetrable skin. You know, this is a regular dude. Everybody in the show was regular people. I, I never noticed. This show is the most grounded in reality out of sure, all of I, them. Sure, all I'm saying about that, I never, I didn't even notice it until you pointed it out. That's wonderful you didn't notice it, but that's just because you, just because I just pointed out to you that it, it's true though. But I didn't notice. I, I felt it was not. It's not like it sounded unnatural without them just saying that word. It wasn't like unnatural, and I Look, felt like nothing in that show was gratuitous. It was very like purposeful. I thought it was great. Yeah, it was purposeful. It was purpose- purposeful that they didn't say fuck. I don't. That's and the fact that not anybody cursed to that level means that they th- that there was a gag order in that word. First thing, second thing, the 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 the, the chick, like, the, with the nudity level on it. Like, come on, guys. Like, like what is so taboo about sex? Like, like if you watch the scenes the way they're done, like. It was very strategically done to avoid that, and I just I hate it when I can see a guy's brains get smashed in, but I can't look at a girl's breasts. It makes no sense. To because me. one's important was important to the show, and the other had nothing to do with the show. And, all right, whatever. All right. The violence was important dude, to the show. It's censorship, dude. If you don't see that, then you're fucking blind. It's not censorship. It's how they wanted to present the show, dude. You know what it is? It, it it's not realistic. If you have if if what the fuck, dude. During filming? Fuck, put the silence on that shit. 
Anyways, but but so, it, I, I, again, like that, that's just not how you you, you you don't you don't fuck all covered up like that. You know what I mean? Are, are you with me? or Are you gonna be on the phone now? Mm-hmm. I'm putting my ring on silent. That's a, all you gotta do is press that thing down. It's done. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know that. There you go. Done. iPhone course 101. I um. All right. That's the second thing I didn't like about the show. Third thing I didn't like about the show. Frank is like invincible apparently. Granted, he got stabbed, he got shot at, he got stabbed some more, he got beat the fuck. But he can get up the next day and go kick ass again. Like. No time for recovery. I'm sorry. Like when he was in the woods, and he got basically gutted, it seemed. Yeah. And then like he was off for like a week. We don't know what the time was. But it was it it like it's like a week past. They okay. I remember them making that clear. Okay. Let's just say let's just say that's true. It's a week. And then when he pops back on the scene, he's going after the suicide kid, right? No. All right. He takes a bunch of hits there in that hotel room. All right. From those agents. And then literally, what, a day later, mm-hmm. he's going after Russo? Yeah, but he was all fucked up. That's why he was like, uh. But, 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 but he's no match for Russo at that point. The fact that he, that he got a one-up on Russo on that carousel. Rage and adrenaline, man. Fuck that. No way, dude. No. Yeah, people do some. You know, no women li- the, lift the, cars the, when they're on their, when their adrenaline's going. So. I, 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 I understand that. But, and, and here's another thing I like, all right? And this is the fourth thing I didn't like, and this is why I give it the th- thumbs down, because of these four things. If you notice, when those Anvil agents, and even the Homeland agents, were shooting at their, at their targets, everything was a headshot. Everything. When those, when those Anvil agents were going through Homeland, like what, towards one of the last right. episodes, every shot they did was a headshot. Everyone died with a the, with the, with the bullet to the head, right? But for some miraculous reason, when everybody's shooting at Frank Castle... Nobody aims for the head. They're all shooting his body. And he gets hit. But nobody shoots him in the head. And I get it. He's the lead. You can't kill him. But then change the way you're doing your other things. Cause, because basically you're telling me that all these agents, all of these mercenaries are trained. And they, and they have near perfect accuracy by, by doing headshots to all these people. But then, oh, they, they fuck up when it comes to Frank Castle. You know? And it, it, just, it just goes – it just ties into – the 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 bending of the reality of it for the sake of the show, you know they sh- they they should have cursed. They should have been able to say fuck, you know. They should have made the sex look a, a little more like sex and not like censored like moms in the other room sex, you know. Um, and you know Frank when he got beat up, they should have they they either a shouldn't have beat him up as much so we can make his fights following his beat up a little more realistic or giving him a little more. Um, Recovery time. I mean, because because even even the dude, what's what's the guy's name? The 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 guy the, 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 the starts with the letter C. The one that's missing a leg. That that Curtis. Was, Curtis. Curtis got the shit kicked out of him by that kid. And then when Russo showed up as an apartment, he was in no position to fight. You know, because he got the shit kicked out of him. No. But if it was Frank, oh Frank would have been fighting. Because he rage, man. They're trying to present him as someone. I mean, the he's arguments. Not, the not, arguments. He's not a superhuman. The arguments that you have against the TV show Punisher, you can make about every single anything ever. It's my arguments about the show. and it's You know what I didn't like about Man of Steel? There's no tits, and no one said fuck. No. Like, Superman's destroying the whole town. You think one person is like, who? what the fuck is this? Dude, shut up. No, no, no. I'm dead serious no, about that. No, you're not that. dead yeah. serious. I'm serious. Being a smart ass now. I'm not being a smart ass. This is a show that's, that's, that's rated R, 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 R. It's not like yeah. a light R. It's a hard R. Yeah. Okay. Like like brains splattered everywhere. That scene that scene where that CIA director got his face bashed in and he got insane. stabbed multiple times. I so mean, good. You went out of your way to like call me at yeah, like I one called, o'clock yeah. in the morning because you you said and I called you. I've never seen anything that brutal ever. Yeah, on, on television. TV. Yeah, on, never. Ever. And yeah. you were flipping out about that. Yeah, so it was, we could agree, like because this, it was a show. It was a show about the violence. It was a show about Frank, about what he right, was going great. through. So you want to know what? They give it, give it all to us. No, but he's. It wasn't. A, it, it, like if it was a show about like sex, like I understand. I'm not saying it's a show about sex, but you want to know what? If you're gonna have sex scenes in it, give me a sex scene. If you're not, but then don't not, give me the fucking sex scene. Because they were just trying to show at that moment, like uh, at that moment, what that they're fucking. No, that there, there was a connection developing between Billy Russo and. Medina, that they had this connection, this physical connection that happened, 
and they wanted to let us be aware of it without all right, all right, focusing right, on her tits. Right, you sound fucking naive right now. Right? Let's, just listen to me for a second right now. Are you going to tell me that that the producers and the writer, uh, the producers and the director of this show did not say we can't say fuck, we can't have nudity? The nudity thing would be just it, it, that's an insane conspiracy theory. If they wanted nudity, they would have had nudity. Bullshit. I believe so. I take the nudity out of it. Fuck. I mean, maybe they just felt it wasn't organic in in any. Dude, in you've this... seen enough of these shows. Come yeah, on, no, I... enough of these violent shows and movies for that matter. This I movie, do. But... This movie is on par with any rated R movie. I mean, this no. TV show. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, man. I the fact I have a problem hating on that because I didn't even notice. It, it, that's how much it doesn't matter to me that I didn't notice. But if you watch Deadpool or Logan and they didn't say fuck, you'd notice. That. I didn't. I didn't notice when they did it on Old Man Logan. Because it was organic. I noticed when it doesn't sound like when it sounds of like. Of course, it's organic. But the fact that it's not there and there's so much violence I didn't, happening, I, and you know, and you know damn well if that this was, if this was a real life situation, you would get more of that. Come on, man. I mean, I don't think it's a reason to, to not watch this show. I'm not saying don't watch the show. You said you gave it a thumbs down. That sounds I'm saying, like no. I'm saying if I got if I got to pick between the two, if I got to say so, giving it a thumbs down would be to d- discourage people from watching it. I guess you could say that, and, I'm, and for, if you if you're that type of person, then I apologize. No, I'm, but, not, I'm not saying don't watch. No, it. no, but when we rate I, shows, listen, I'm saying I'm saying listen, watch all these shows. I didn't like Iron Fist. I give it a thumbs down too, but I, I stay. I, I'll still say watch it and form your own opinion. You know, I that's mean, my, don't don't let my thumb up or down or or yay or nay or whatever. The, you know, sway your opinion. You know, it's like it's like it's like the Justice League movie. Don't don't not go see the Justice League movie because box office sales. Aren't for worth for whatever they reason, be, they decided you know? not to or to have the nudity and the the vulgarity. Like the same could be said about any of the other shows. I mean, Luke Cage had a sex scene. Nothing was shown. You know, no, um, that's not true. Dared, what, what's your name? What's your yeah. name? Yeah. The coffee scene. No, nothing was shown. Dude, we saw her. It was the same thing. Ass. No way. Yes, we did. Watch and and the Watch whole thing. Again. And, and Daredevil. Again, Daredevil. No one cusses either. Like no one says fucking Daredevil. He gets ever living shit beat out. And he's a he's like a Catholic. Well, of course he does. Catholics say fuck more than anybody. Not not on the record. So what I'm saying <laughs> is like it, you could say the same thing about any show. I don't think that's a a reason to to give the show a thumbs down. We're taking the taking those complaints away but those are huge this this show had an opportunity out of all the they, shows they're not huge to be to, to, to be grounded in reality and it did a fabulous job at addressing war and PTSD and 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 John Barenthal did great I mean it, it but but the producers and the director failed at giving a hundred percent realism if, if you have the green light to, to, to fucking do what they did to that CIA director and put it on screen then, then it is. It's an open field. Give it, give it, give us all of it. Give us everything. Don't. Hold I mean, we'd have to. Uh, they, it, it just it, it felt. It but felt, they, they it felt ha- like they held back in places. I mean, again, for someone that notices, I think most people, if you ask them, they wouldn't have. They don't notice that that there there wasn't that amount of vulgarity in it. And I think I'm fine with it because this Look, was. I'm, a, I'm fine with it too. I just think it's unrealistic. That's, that's fine. That's my but, problem. But maybe th- at the end of the day. That's my problem. But it, maybe it it's not about the, it, it wasn't about the realism. Maybe this was a presentation of Frank Castle in relation to the, his violence. Like they didn't want to take away at all. Like everything was only about the his violence, right? And uh, and maybe they felt like that would have taken away from it. I don't know. I, you know. So again, I I think I don't know. I disagree with you, man. I still I think it's one and, of the best he, shows we've seen. I mean, no, it's really great. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I'm not saying don't. And, watch and the I go, think that ep- watch the show, but 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 my problem with it is I'm that also shocked at your response to episode twelve. You don't think that's one of the most brutal things we've seen on television, not the movies, but on television. You know, I don't consider Netflix TV shows really TV. You know, like I'll, I'll never see that on NBC, Fox, CBS, or ABC. So I'll tell ever. you what I, I got to talk about that you scene know? because I really love that scene. And, <laughs> but, and that, I, but wait, I'll tell you this: like, if you watch Walking Dead, which you stopped watching, it's, yeah. it's it's extremely graphic. No, yeah. like the stuff, like that scene where that guy got his eyes gouged out is pretty gross. But there's a scene in The Walking Dead where this, where you literally see a kid get his face eaten away. But you know, you know, and okay, it's bloody and gory. And I'm sorry, like, yeah, you got your eyes gouged out and yeah, stabbed at the same time. But but when you get your face eaten away, no, that's horrible. And blood, and you see skull. Yeah, if you take like, the context of it, absolutely. But what really impressed me about that scene, even it wasn't the eye gouging, 
what got to me, and it wasn't even the stabbing, was like the level of um, of hate that he was able to portray on screen. Like what got to me was the intensity of John Barenthal as a Punisher in that scene. Yeah. Like his the that's why the violence really got me because even when you're watching like let's say I'm the earlier seasons of Walking Dead, which is some crazy shit. Even in the early seasons, right? Like I always know it's on TV. Right. What I mean is I have never seen the level of violence I did in that episode at that moment with the amount of intensity and feeling that he portrayed as an actor. So it almost felt like it was actually happening. Yeah, and, and that's what was so shocking about me is that I was like, this is happening in a warehouse somewhere. Like, it, it got me. I, I, I understand and I, I, I empathize. And they did a lot with it. Hold on. But, but I, what you felt, like, I didn't feel, but I felt in the Negan episode when he bashed Glenn's brains. Okay, out. that's fair. Like I didn't see that. Like that was like I've th- that I've never seen. Right. And, and that was actually on TV. But what ha- what you happened know? to you? What happened to you in and that AMC scene? AMC got a lot of shit for that. What happened to you in that scene is basically what happened in this scene is when an actor does his job so well that it stops being fake for a moment. You forget it's fake, yeah. and you really feel the anger and hate. And I think the scene where where it really got me is the music, right, and then the camera angle. And then when it started shaking and the music started beating along to his punches, yeah. it was like violence. It was just pure violence. And and you want to know why you brought the music? I think I think the producers and the editors and director of the show really failed on the music side of it too. But wouldn't a bunch of like Pantera would have not, that just not have been like derivative? Like isn't that what we expect, right? Like Look, a lot of thrash metal. You you want to know what? I don't mind the whole Johnny Cash vibe that they had going throughout the whole thing, in in certain scenes, but when the violence is happening. Don't give me the orchestra score. Give me fucking some hard rock, man. Like, like, but, 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 like the same way in Luke Cage when, 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 when crazy shit was happening. Like, it was some hard hip hop. You know, give me some hard rock during those scenes. Instead, it was all like it, it wasn't that at all. But I, I prefer they, they, they failed there. Right. So like, I prefer that Especially though. Especially with the fact that the that that the commercial, the the preview, the promo for it was. And was, Tris Hammond, right? No, it was, oh, was uh, it? the. the What's what's the one from Injustice for All? One. Do, 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 yeah, that's do, what I think do. one. I don't I don't know what the name of it is. Right. But but the video for that is is of like Vietnam um, footage right. and shit like that. Um. Okay. I I think that would have been a disservice to the Punisher. I like the div- like look. But no, but I was digging that. Like Luke Cage is like hip hop R and B. Punisher is fucking hard rock. Like I I thought that was the same way. Like Defenders like was really creative with the way they did lighting and shit in the show and you and, and the different tones of light identified with the different characters. The fact that they, they were identifying music and audio, you know. I, you now, know. so my response is I think it was really smart. And what I think that they were doing is what this show constantly did, which was you presenting Frank Castle the Punisher, who he was actually punishing, the, the, the whole argument to be named about the, the name, the debate about the name is, is he punishing other people or is he actually punishing himself, right? Is he going out to, like, fuck over other people up or give an excuse to get fucked up to pay for what he believes he did, right? So everything about him as a character was to show uh, the, the the two sides, right? And uh, and so I, I think they did that one. I think part of the music with the violence was they take a beautiful slow music and combine it with the violence gives you a different, like, a response. Kind of like you remember Reservoir Dogs, right? When he's, like, cut off the ear and they're playing... Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Right. Same thing here. Stuck in the middle. Stuck in you. the middle, right. Yeah. And, and and even in the end, when Punisher's being tortured, it's flashing between him being tortured and yeah, scenes yeah. of him having sex with his wife. Time out. There's, two, there's two guys in the store with the same Nightwing t-shirt. Right? Yeah. And it's really like, I think it's a, it's just a, to contrast uh, these sides that he goes through. And I think the music does a good job of that. If he's bidding people up and you have Pantera playing, yeah, that's really badass. But if he's fucking beating I, people they, up and you have Johnny Cash, it's very look, like... Give us some of it, though. They didn't give it to us at all. Yeah, they could have given us some. There wasn't, there wasn't one episode. Yeah. That, was, that was really funny. <laughs> that was really... Yeah. Uh, yes. That's really funny. Right. So, okay. I mean, it's fair. I mean, they could have used a little bit of a metal. I'm a metalhead. So I'm I'm not going to lie, but I'm not a metalhead, but but they 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 could have used a little bit. They didn't use Yeah, any. they could have thrown in a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um so, I don't know. You got anything else to say about the show? I mean, I I loved it. I loved how uh, they made Jigsaw. All right, here's the downside. We're done. What do you mean? No season 2. Why? Because everything's going to Disney. 
Um, but I heard that like Disney's okay. Oh, that's something I want to talk to you about. Disney's making this show without Netflix. Does Punisher end up like it did? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what Disney's gonna do. But doesn't Netflix get to keep the shows that they already have? They're losing all the Marvel shows. Even the ones like on Netflix. Yes, they're losing all the Marvel shows. So you don't think Disney's gonna make another Punisher after all the success they had with this one? I I don't. If they do, I mean, they if they do, they might. It might not be as hard. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, all we're getting for Netflix Marvel Universe is Iron Fist Season 2. And that's it. Nothing else has been announced. And the Disney app is supposed to launch in 2019, which is a little over a year from now. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, if we get Daredevil 3, if we get Luke Cage 2, if we get Punisher 2, uh, it's going to the Disney app. It's not going to Netflix. Wow. That's sad. Oh, I hope uh, they do some stuff with this Millar bullshit. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, you guys know about Punisher? You guys should watch it. Don't believe him. It's a great show. I'm not saying don't watch it. Please watch it. How about this? If they make a Punisher season two, you're watching it day one? Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah. Absolutely, I'll watch it. It's our job to watch it. I'm going to watch. No, I, I'm saying watch it. But, you know, uh, like back in the day when like we used to buy TV se- or seasons on DVD, you know, I know Batsy still does that because, mm-hmm. you know, he's. Weird. Yeah, exactly. But um, back in the day when we used to do all that stuff, like this is a season I would have watched and not bought. Okay. You know. Wow. Well, okay. Um, I'm. I tell all of you. Everybody watch it though. Watch it because you know. Form your own opinion. Like anything. Don't listen to what either of us say. Form your own opinion. And if you want, comment in the section. We'd be happy to comment back. Um, do you have anything else? No. All right. So for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corker. Juan Froch. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Share, like, and comment. And uh, watch The Punisher on Netflix. Later.